Welcome to American Agenda. I'm Bob Sellers here with Allison Maloney. Florida is now the latest state to ban critical race theory in public schools, but in Fairfax and Loudoun County, Virginia, the fight over the controversial curriculum is just heating up. A new poll by Public Opinion Strategies finds 50% of voters in the two counties have an unfavorable view of critical race theory. Our next guest is behind the fight in Virginia. Joining us now to discuss is founder of FightForSchools.com, Ian Pryor. Ian, what's the latest? How are things going for you? Well, I'll tell you, things are really picking up out here. We, you know, every two weeks there's a school board meeting, and it seems like every two weeks a, a new hero is born in this coalition, this army of moms, you know, and dads too, but Primarily, it's moms out there on the ground collecting signatures for this Loudoun County recall, uh, going to school board meetings, stepping up, calling out the school board, calling out the superintendent for the things that are going on in Loudoun County public schools. And, and really, what is going on there is a culture of fear. You know, from the elementary school level, you have parents that, are, that have seen, as a result of this pandemic, all the materials that their kids have been watching, whether it's a video or slides. And then when you get to the middle school and high school level, you've got these people coming home, these students coming home and telling their parents that they are afraid to speak their mind because they're gonna get canceled, they're gonna get disciplined, they're gonna get reported through the new anonymous bias reporting system. And that is really what is powering this, this movement and this momentum, and it's growing every week. We're at close to 60, well, we're past 60% for one of the school board members that we're uh, trying to recall. By the way, Ian, I just want to ask you, when I go to the store in Great Falls or Reston, there are people out there taking petitions. Are you involved with those efforts? That is. That's, that's Fight for Schools. That is, that is our army, army of moms out there collecting signatures yeah. every day. Um, that's our motto all day, every day. They're going out to supermarkets, to parks, to baseball games grabbing signatures where they can. You know, I look at the uh, the communications chain with everyone and they're just so excited to, to go out there and really fight for their kids. I think they felt helpless for a long time, for over a year. They've been going to the school board meetings, speaking, nothing's gotten done, they've gotten no response. And now they feel like they have something that they can go fight for and that they believe in, which is the future of their children. Yeah, Ian, you said, you know, parents are obviously nervous, you know, to, to do this. Also teachers too, but I want to get your reaction to a teacher slamming the curr curriculum. Don't be afraid to speak out for your kids because they are voiceless and they, and they rely on you. You should be afraid of them rooting for socialism by the time they get to middle school. Teachers, it may seem that our careers have come to a dead end, but I'm here to remind you, we don't work for the school board. We work to mold the next generation of well-rounded American patriots. So don't give up because it is up to us. And finally, to the board, this isn't over and your policies are just as... Nick Gothard, followed by Ryan. Yeah, strong words there from that teacher. That's right. And, and you saw the scene there at the Loudoun County Public School Board meeting. I mean, there were, there were tons of parents and teachers. That was a great speech. Those are the kind of things that fire people up, especially when they come from teachers. Because when teachers come out there and say what, what is going on, what they're not comfortable with, it gives other teachers the courage to step forward. And we're seeing it more and more. With every move that Loudoun County Public Schools makes, they just grow the coalition. Just today, they appealed the ruling that reinstated the teacher Tanner Cross that was put on ad administrative leave for addressing the school board, what is that going to do? That's only going to fire up more people to come out there, speak at school board meetings, and recall this school board. Every time you think that Loudoun County Public Schools cannot step in it even more, they go out there and double down on trying to silence the opposition. Uh, Ian, we've been talking to you for a while now, several months. And your bearing has changed. At first, when we started talking to you, uh, you knew you were in the middle of something. And over time, it seems like you feel more empowered. And I wanted you to tell us what has happened along the way to make you feel that way, if I'm reading it right. Yeah, no, I think that's absolutely right. And I think it really it stems from all the things that Loudoun County Public Schools does that just builds our coalition. And so when we go out and we talk to people, you know, we, we've been going door to door and I've talked to Democrats and they say, you know what, let me sign the petition. This is absurd what's going on. So, you know, it's not just, it's not a political thing. And that's the important, you know, aspect of this. It's not a Republican versus Democrat. If you look at the polls, 
yes, Republicans and independents overwhelmingly are opposed to critical race theory in schools. They're overwhelmingly supportive of the recall effort in Loudoun County Public Schools. But there's a good portion of Democrats there that are as well. And that's kind of our mission now, too, is to bring along more Democrats, more traditional liberals that understand that what is happening in the schools, this culture of fear, this cancel culture where you can't speak your opinion, you can't say something out of fear of repercussion, that is not traditional liberalism. That is not equal opportunity for all. That is a disrespect for everything that our country stands for. And so when I hear more and more from Democrats and independents that they're supporting what we're doing and they're joining in the cause, that gives us a broader sense of mission that this is about parents seeking to retake control of their schools. Because when you send your kids through those doors every day, you need to have trust that the people at the top are making the decisions in the best interest of the kids, not for some special interest groups or some high-priced consultants that's gouging the school system for money. Yeah. So Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> Ian, I've got 30 seconds. For parents and teachers in other counties watching this, what should they be doing? Because it sounds like you obviously are making a headway with this. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I use four words here. It's investigate, communicate, activate, and prosecute. Uh, you know, you got to go, you got to do FOIAs, you got to get that stuff out to the press. Um, you've got to activate your coalitions, all the parents out there, the, you know, this movement that really wants to fight for their kids. And then you've just got to prosecute the case out there, whether it's at school board meetings, whether it's on you know, television, on radio, going door to door. It's important for everybody to keep those four things in mind and, and go get it done. Fightforschools.com? That's right. All right. Contact them there. Thank you, Ian Pryor. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. All right, folks, uh, you can take us out and about with you uh, by downloading our free app to your iPhone or Android phone. It's called Newsmax TV, and it is absolutely free. You don't have to go through any kind of subscription. Uh, we encourage you to go and download it to your OTT device. Over 7 million people have done so. Again, called Newsmax TV, and we appreciate you watching us here and then taking us out and about yeah, with you. Yeah, pretty easy know. to do, and it's free. All right, well, coming up, President... Really? It is free. I Do we mention that. it's free? No. It's free. Coming up, President Biden is overseas at the G7 summit meeting with foreign leaders, but he still has issues at home. Many are slamming Biden for ignoring the origins of the coronavirus. That's our next guest, and we have former Lieutenant Governor of New York, Betsy McCool,